تفضل to all of you and Pastor Paul speaking last time I gave a message on the benefits of atonement or what Jesus did for us you know there are some things which we need to know which are the basics you know how we come how is our approach to the Bible is very important the way you see the Bible is very important. Your approach to the Bible is very important. You know, there was a competition of Charlie, Chap uh, of, uh, Charlie Chaplin's uh, imitators. And uh, it seems in the group, there was the original Charlie Chaplin too. <laughs> and uh, and they, they want to give a, a prize the one who imitates Charlie Chaplin the best way and it seems that Charlie Chaplin the original one lost it <laughs> mm. and the people are sh uh, and they didn't, never knew that Charlie Chaplin was there but uh, <laughs> people didn't recognize he's the original one and so they rejected him and so he lost the, the prize see that's the way today you know, people come with their own opinions to the Bible and they want to see uh, the way according to their own thoughts they want to see the Bible not uh, they don't they don't come to the Bible uh, to want to see what God shows them they want to see what they want to see that's why we don't benefit otherwise the Bible is a benefit is a blessing for all of us but if you come to the Bible having your own opinions and the way you want to see God or you want to see the Bible or you want to uh, receive the best blessings in your own way then we misinterpret the word and we don't receive the blessing that's why Charlie Chaplin when he went <laughs> for this competition he lost it because people didn't know first that he was the original one and uh, and they wanted to see uh, the way they wanted to see Charlie Chaplin so so they missed the real one in the same way we miss the real understanding of the word of God when we come based on our own opinions or interpretations. So if you come to the word of God as it is and then receive the revelation from God's word, God will be able to help us and speak to us. So the Bible is not telling us what you should do, that God will bless us. That's the way many people approach the Bible. And today, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, when I speak to many Christians and I have, uh, they come with various problems, especially they are sick and uh, they have problems and they have various other problems many other troubles they have in their life and uh, they want uh, deliverance or blessing or healing and uh, and they always have this mind what I should do to be blessed or what they should do to be blessed or some people even think that they are they have done something wrong so that's why God is holding the blessing or some people even think that they have sinned a big sin that uh, God is punishing them so these are the wrong ideas or these are the wrong interpretations um, people have that's the reason uh, the word of God is not able to bless them see the Bible says God sent his word and healed them so through the word of God God heals that means you need to know the right word of God to be re to receive healing so healing comes not based because of your own opinions or the way you want to receive it no you come by faith you come by the knowledge of God's word faith comes by the knowledge of God's word when you come by the knowledge of God's word you have divine faith and you receive the blessing and that's the way God wants to bless you so it is very easy it is not difficult you don't have to do anything you know religion teaches us to do many things to receive we we are not uh, preaching religion i know many christians are still under religion religion brings them in bondage and i, I know many people are shocked many christians are shocked when i say that christianity is not a religion though it has some religion but that's not the basis of christianity or that's not the foundation of christianity it's not based on good works no in fact all our righteous acts are like filthy rags the bible says in isaiah 64 6 that means even your best acts are considered as nothing before god so it's not the righteous deeds or the good things or the good behavior or your external deeds that god is interested and then looking at all that he blesses you that blessing will be earned blessing not favored blessing 
So you want earned blessing and God is not willing to give you earned blessing. He wants to give you favored blessing. So you must know the difference between earned blessing and favored blessings. Christians are living by earned blessing. They want to, they want to do something to be blessed and God won't do something. Uh, God won't bless you because you did something. But that, will, that, will, that glory will go to you. God doesn't give glory to any man. That means he doesn't want man to take the glory. It means, see, he's not selfish or, I mean, he, that, that is not the thought at all here. You know, because of our fleshly nature, our fleshly desires, that's why God doesn't want us to have those things now in, here on this earth because we may fall into the temptation of the devil and he can harass us. That's the only reason. God is not selfish or he doesn't want to, uh, you know, many people think that God doesn't want me to have money. That's not the question at all because God is a very, uh, is a great creator. You know, heaven, heaven is a lavish place to live. So, but there will be no temptation there. So you, you can have the best, you can, have the, you can be the richest in heaven. So there's no problem. But on this earth, flesh, as long as we're in the flesh, One minute, something happened. Some, I don't know what happened. Just hold on, please. Something happened. This week. Is it clear now? Is it not clear? Someone called up and so just hold on please I'll just there's some problem here with the wire. It's become dark. I don't know how to do the setting. Oh god. Is it is it it's not clear, no? Just hold on please. One minute, I'll just come back to you. There's some setting problem. 